Welcome, welcome friends to an unboxing that I have been waiting for and uh, this would have been perfect for vlogmas but I got the package early and I don't have the willpower to wait. So this is a Christmas unboxing as you can see this is Benjamin my Christmas tree and this is just a painting I made. She's chilling there, we have to hang her up but for now she's here. I was totally convinced that it was impossible to get this here. But turns out it is possible if you're willing to pay a hefty customs fee. So I was able to get it. But I figured it's cheaper than actually getting on an airplane and traveling somewhere to get these sort of things. And here we are. Beautiful. This, you may recognize the bottles if you were on my live stream. This is the Toka Garden Collection. They come in the cutest little bottles. Oh my god, I basically bought it for the bottles, not gonna lie. I had an aunt who was obsessed with like little perfume bottles and things, and I think I just inherited that gene because. I am in love with these bottles. Let's just get into it and start sniffing. I have a, I have a pretty good idea that probably I'm not gonna like any of these fragrances, but I want to try anyway because I am like an alien that came onto this planet, you know, saw these beautiful perfumes and these gorgeous bottles, and saw that people were enjoying them, and I'm just like fascinated by the idea, and I want to find one that I'm gonna enjoy, but. So far in my lifetime, every perfume I've ever smelled has been a disappointment or just absolutely disgusting. So, I am still on the hunt, but uh, this alien is starting to lose some hope. Toka is one of those brands that looks Italian, sounds Italian, but is actually American. So good job, America. Good job on the branding. Look how cute this box. I'm gonna keep it in the box. Oh my god. This is like a collector's item. I'm gonna start with Julieta. Isn't that the cutest darn thing you've ever seen? Look, I'm not gonna read the notes until I smell them because notes mean fuck all when it comes to perfumes. Notes are like what the perfumers were trying to emulate. You know, what they were trying to craft in an abstract way. It's not the actual ingredients of the perfumes. They just have like synthetic fragrance ingredients that they pile together to make uh, something resembling those notes. So here we go. These are little dabbers. So I'm gonna dab it onto the paper. Just like that. And then we will let it dry a little bit. So I do have an extremely sensitive nose and uh, I usually don't like many perfumes. So we'll see what this reminds me of. Hmm. Interesting. So these are described as mass likable perfumes by a lot of people who review them. So is this what the mass is like? It is not bad. It's like uh, I, I could see myself going to a movie theater and like the lady in front of me is wearing this and I wouldn't be offended by it. I would be like that lady is wearing perfume. I would rate this a 6 out of 10, but we'll, kim we'll come back to it. Let's just uh, move along. The next one I would like to smell is Lucia. This is their most recent release. Okay, this is the bottle. Cute. There we are. Let's let that marinate. I've seen people doing reviews of these and they make a mess. They like sniff it right out of the bottle. Don't do that. Just dab. And if you're trying to wear a perfume with a dab or a bottle, you can also just like put it where you want and just kind of tilt. It's already giving heavier for me. So not good, not good. I'm gonna have to air this room out afterwards because P is very sensitive also to perfumes. Again, very like womanly. 
I wouldn't say old lady, but womanly. Like, I wouldn't see a teenager wearing this. It's not bad. It's not immediately offensive to me, but it might become, you know, in, a, in an hour it might become. Uh, I don't know, Lucia. I don't know about you, girl. I think she's a bit too mature for me. <laughs> a bit too... It's very perfumey. Very perfumey, like... If you oversprayed, I would probably get a headache from this. Let's go back to Giulietta and compare. Well, you see, Giulietta is light compared to Lucia. Like, that already messed up my nose, because I should have brought some coffee here. Let me try to reset my nose with my... my clean body odor. I just took a shower today. Let's move right on along. I want to try Colette. This one doesn't have Colette. I was fooled. This one has Simone. Okay, we, we, we want to try Simone because she's supposed to be like one of the lighter ones. Simone, I remember reading about her. Um, it's supposed to be a watermelon fragrance, which again, I don't know how you could make something smell like watermelon. None of these really smell like the notes, but anyway, let's try Simone. I thought there was gonna be Colette here. I am so confused. So, I have a card for Colette, but we're doing Simone. There we go. Just a splash. Already much less overwhelming than Lucia. I feel like I need to take Lucia and like fold her up so I don't smell her anymore. I don't mind her. I do not mind her. Interesting. Am I gonna find something that I like? That would be a miracle. I can see how they would interpret this as watermelon because it's very light, fresh, watery, a little sweet. Definitely perfumey, but like not matronly not lady old lady well i think simone is so far the youngest of the bunch of these ladies <laughs> simone is the youngest julieta is the second youngest let's go back to her julieta is getting heavier we'll check back on her in a little bit and uh simone was the lightest so we'll check back on her in a little bit as well I think I want to try Stella, and it's supposed to be orange flavored. <laughs> there we are. Give her a splash. We'll let her sit for a moment. My index finger is gonna need to get a good wash. Oh, I have a good tip for you guys if you are into perfumes or you try one on that you don't like. Because washing it doesn't take it off. You can scrub it with soap all you want and sometimes it just doesn't come off. So what you want to do is coat whatever area with olive oil. It has to be olive oil. Very important. I think it's the acidity about it. It breaks down the perfume. And let it sit for 10 minutes. Then go wash with soap. Go wash it off. If it still lingers a little bit, repeat. I've gotten rid of very stubborn fragrances with this method, so it does work. I get orange, but with a heavy dose of musk. Now, musk is not something like you can smell necessarily, but I feel it in my sinuses right away. It smells like orange. It smells fresh, but the musk... Like, I feel it in my, literally in my sinuses, I feel it in my brain. I would not be able to stand her uh, if I was wearing her. Like, it just immediately makes me nauseous. Not the smell, just the feeling of it in my sinuses. So, we're gonna say no to Stella. It smells fine, it smells nice even. Why do they have to go in and, oh, with that heavy, headache inducing musk? I'm gonna tuck her in, tuck her in. That one was a, that one was a doozy. Okay, we have two left. 
Florence and Cleopatra. I'm kind of upset the Colette wasn't in here because I was curious about her. Eh, whatever, it wasn't meant to be. I think maybe Simone is going to be my favorite, so maybe this really was meant to be. Anyway, Cleopatra and Florence. Cleopatra has very bad reviews online, so I'm going to leave her last. And we're going to try Florence. It's supposed to be like classic white floral. So we'll see what that means, because I really don't know if I'm going to like that or not. But she's a classic, apparently. I don't know. Florence. I like how the juices are all kind of different colors. This one's like slightly green, and Stella was slightly orange, and hmm. The first whiff I got was actually quite pleasant. Let's see her. Let's, let's, let's test out Florence here. Ooh, she is fresh. Ooh, when they said white floral, my immediate thing was, oh, it's gonna be heavy and florally, but no. She's given a freshy. She's given the, she's giving spring, you know? I don't mind her. Holy shit. Did I find two that I like? That's like impossible. It reminds me of truly spring flowers, which like I have never met a floral that I've liked. Like in terms of perfumes. So like flower bomb, you know, the Victor and Rolf flower bomb. Shoot me, shoot me. It made me so nauseous. It was disgusting. Um, I don't know. Oh, Gucci Bloom. Ugh, yuck. Terrible. Disgusting. Like, I've just had always bad, bad interactions with florals and perfumes. But this, they did a pretty good job with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to them. This smells very classy. Smells like a wealthy woman wearing a floral, freshy floral perfume. Not bad, not bad. We'll let her cook. But sometimes they change. You have to let them cook for a bit. Okay, we have one more to go. This is Cleopatra. She has the worst reviews I've ever seen. <laughs> Everyone I've seen reviewing this says this one is the heaviest. So I'm kind of afraid to smell her. Um, let me give all the others another sniff before we move on to her because I'm afraid she's going to ruin my nose. This is Juliet. It's fresh. It's, uh, it's likable. It's kind of similar. Is it similar to Florence? A little. I feel like Florence is more obviously floral and Giulietta is like floral with a hint of, with a hint of a shampoo, <laughs> like with a hint of like a fruity shampoo, which I, uh, I don't mind. Am I in love with it? No. Would I want to smell like this? Probably not, but like, it's not bad. If I had to smell like that, could I get used to it? That's the real question, you know what I mean? Okay, this is Simone. This was my favorite. I still like her. I mean, it's uh, definitely a fruitier... I want to say like watery. It's very watery. I don't know why I'm describing it like that. Like, So I guess watermelon is accurate because it's like watery fruity, but... I don't know what this would turn into on me. That's that's another concern because you know this, your skin chemistry can fuck you up with these things. Okay, Cleopatra. Let's just give her a sniff. I am scared of her. All right. Don't ruin me, girl. Please. I trust you. Ooh. Oh God. The immediate. I just got hit in the nose with something. I'm gonna close this real tight. <laughs> Don't want this to leak out. Ooh, I just got another sniff. Okay, we gotta do this fast and then I need to put her away. Whew. They weren't lying, they weren't kidding. She's heavy. She's heavy. Ooh, why am I doing this to myself? No, this one's going. This one's going, going, gone. Let's just throw her, burn her, 
Never. Ooh, that one really did ruin my nose. Hold on. That one, I think it was. It's the patchouli. Um, there's a heavy dose of something in there that I do not want to be smelling like. Um, very heavy. I do not like that at all. It smells almost like those, um, you know, those stores that sell the incense and you walk in, you're like hitting the nose with patchouli or like whatever else you, they put in incense. I don't like incense personally. I think they're so disgusting. And uh, like old, the old store kind of smell. I wish they would have given me Colette instead of that one. That's my review of the Toka Sisters. Beautiful display. If you're uh, looking for a gift to buy and you live in the US or UK or Australia or Canada, like the places where you can easily get this, definitely I would recommend. It's a fun little Christmas gift. I think any girly girl would actually really appreciate this. Yeah. Uh, I've seen other gift sets where they have like different ones. I've seen one where they don't have Lucia and they have like something else and then I've seen one where they don't have Simone and they have something else so you have to like pay attention to that but overall not bad I think uh, if I have to rank them I mean my least favorite was Cleopatra then Lucia um, and then Stella just because of that headache inducing musk otherwise the smell was quite pleasant so if you're not sensitive to musks you might like that one then Florence, the white floral queen, Julieta, shampoo, and Simone, watermelon. So that's my ranking. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more perfume videos. And say goodbye to Benjamin. He's looking fabulous today. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching.